What's going on YouTube? My name is Kyra Dorn and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the AGSU, which is known popular in these streets as the Army Pinks and Green. I was one of the first 130 soldiers issued this uniform and I, I was afforded the opportunity to try these on and honestly review them. So yes, if you're interested in stuff like this or you're just interested in the Army Pinks and Greens, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you like or what you dislike about this uniform and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it is a free way to support your girl and now I'm gonna stop talking and we'll get straight into this video firstly I love that this just says army well it doesn't literally say army but the colorway is clearly army I've had so many people come up to me while wearing dress blues asking me if I'm either in the Air Force or even sometimes the Navy obviously if you serve you can spot the difference but if you don't it's an honest mistake I love, love, love the colorway. I love the dark olive green with the contrast of the tan shirt that makes the olive tie pop. The trousers are like a grayish color with some pink undertones, which is why I think that's where they get the pink part from, but it makes a nice contrast against that dark, earthy green. Like on the shirts under your coat that the rank is already sewn onto your sleeves so you no longer have to sift through your uniform drawer looking for some shoulder boards. I decided to not put anything on my uniform because uh, there was no further guidance given. So when that comes out, then I'll, I'll dress them up. I prefer this garrison cap over the beret because you do not have to shape it. I also like the shape of the service cap. It's very unique, but I don't know when I will ever wear that. So definitely team garrison cap all the way. I love that women now have pockets. I felt like the ASUs, the women's ASUs were totally subjective because we didn't have any pockets to measure off of. So this necktie, okay? Um, the necktie wasn't really doing anything for me. It kind of reminded me of um, the collar on SpongeBob shirt. Just uh, real pointless, sweetie. But this right here, she got a purpose, all right? Serving gender neutrality, just like that ACFT. <laughs> totally forgot to add an introduction for the cons, but this is it. So this is the back of the uniform. I don't really have too much to say about it. Um, it looks like the front, but without pockets. Um, but ooh, look at that bundle. First of all, I'm going to shout out the cleaners for losing my deployment stripe. Um, when I first saw my uniform, I was like, um, something is missing. I have the biggest deployment patch with no deployment stripe. Like, get out of here, bro. But anyways, I'm going to buy a new one in April. <laughs> this uniform bunches. I'm not sure if it's my height. I'm 4'11", and I'm not sure if it's a manufacturing problem or an issue with the seamstress, but I don't really like where it all bunches up in one area. I mean, it could be me. It could be my short torso, but I mean, we'll see when we see it on everybody else. Again, because I'm a very fun-sized person, I feel like it might just be me, but it might be for everyone else as well. The rank is all the way at my elbow. I, this is just me gauging to see if they were even, 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 even. <laughs> This is the belt. It's really, the belt loops are really tiny. It took a minute for me to sift the belt through the hole. So, you know, just a disclaimer if it's still like that. There's a small secret pocket on your pants. I'm not sure what it's for. Maybe um, to fit your whole army paycheck in there. So yeah, I think that's what it's for. <laughs> Okay, so this is not my first choice, my second choice, or my third choice of a shoe, okay? But I know that it's the first prototype and cuter shoes are gonna come along as the years go by. These shoes are pretty grip proof, um, so I couldn't moonwalk in them. That's how I always test out my shoes before, you know, it's a buy, but you know, these were issues, so you know, I can't complain too much. The pinks and greens are a reboot of the World War II uniform, um, which is like, you know, commonly known as like the greatest generation. We've seen people like Elvis wear it. We've seen um, all, all type of popular movies wear this type of uniform. I actually seen this uniform worn for the first time by our past Sergeant Major of the Army, Sergeant Major Dan Daly, at the 2018 Army birthday ball that me and my husband got to perform at. And he was also the MC, but that's just, you know, just a real small flick. And then the following year, 
my band and I got to perform in them and then I will enter some pics somewhere over here, over here. It just might be the whole screen, I'm not sure. All in all, I am a huge fan of this uniform and I cannot wait to see each and every single one of you guys in it. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and now that you've gotten my opinion on it, what do you think about it now? Leave a comment down below. Bye!